Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay, okay. So, I'm... Um, before I even get this reading started, I'm getting that someone tried to shake you up. Someone from your past. They tried to... Oh, ouch. They tried to shake you up. They tried to rattle you here. You defended yourself. They don't understand how you can... How you can possibly stand in your integrity. They're very confused about this. When they did everything they could to this group. I mean, there's at least three of them against one person here. That tried to painfully, permanently end you. But you're standing here with those nine wands going. I got a whole bag to find out. How you like me now? And you got a two of cups coming in. Wow. Perhaps this person maybe thought they were your two of cups. If they thought they could end you. <laughs> That's what you get for thinking. What is the challenge here, Spirit? If that ain't challenge enough. Ooh, I'm starting to get warm. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, mostly. Wants to come in and go, ta-da. Let's make magic together. My darling high priestess. Let's make magic together. Virgo, Gemini, and Pisces energy. Most recent past. Ooh, got some triggers here. Somebody's obsessed with the Queen of Wands. They see you as their... This could be, like, a really good match because I feel like you go after what you want. We have a Capricorn here with an Ace of Pentacles. I'm feeling this is future energy too in the next month. I don't feel like it's like past energy. I feel like this King of Wands is the challenge and the Queen of Wands is in the most recent, 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 recent past. So maybe, you know, you got your own here. Maybe you went after your own new beginning. And somebody's going, hmm. <laughs> Alrighty then. Immediate future. Your gifts are going to bring in some kind of apology. Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Collaboration, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so whatever you're good, you got going on right now, Scorpio, I think your your intuition's on point. If you're going after that Ten of Pentacles, you're going in the right direction. I feel like you're being guided by spirit here and uh, balancing out your masculine and feminine energies for sure. Going after something that you want above all else. else. This could have been something that you wanted when you were a kid. Something that you wanted in the past. Yep. And there's the Eight of Pentacles as a factor affecting the situation. Something's hidden about your work. Some kind of energy has, like, it's hidden behind the moon. An option or a choice for the Queen of Cups. Empress. So somebody, somebody's going to help you do something here. I don't know what this is yet. 
but you may have been rejected in the past and because somebody didn't see the bright glowing cup that you was they rejected you or you rejected them take it as it resonates your ships are coming in even if it don't look that way right now they're coming in and there ain't nothing anybody can do to stop it what is what is under my finger strength the strength of the empress mm. it's outmatched empress high priestess that's that's you can't you can't beat that the only thing that could beat that would be the sun and the sun is on their side new opportunity coming in hopes and fears an opportunity for growth although it may be small I feel like this 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 might start out small like I said I feel like this in August something's gonna happen that's going to cause growth somebody's hanging on to it so somebody greedy is trying to hang on to your growth trying to keep you from growing and then there's somebody here who wants to help you grow so learn to know the difference and don't make the wrong decision here because if you make the wrong decision And you go for the greed instead of the lesson. I think you're going to be disappointed or confused. But this is somebody who wants to beat you. This group, these three people trying to beat you out of this, whatever this is that's coming your way. They want you basically to defeat yourself through strife, through competition, enemy clever, look over your shoulder, the other people involved, competition. They want, they want you to compete for a ten of swords? Really? Why would you do that to yourself? Yeah, under here we have these three people against one person. I'm tired of these foolish games. These foolish games are tearing me apart. This offer in the past, I think, is regretting their choice. Because you chose the Ace of Cups over the Seven of Swords. The lies, the deception, the envy. Oh yeah, this gold digger is going to be sorry, sorry, sorry. Their actions will be seen by all. And they're going to be left out in the cold by the Queen of Swords. Because... Queen of Swords sticks to their truth no matter what, even if it's not the most, um, their past was not the most savvy or shiny. Somebody's going to lose money, lose big time. They chose wrong. They painted you out to be nothing but a queen of wands. A strong queen of wands, but a queen of wands nonetheless. Just surface level. Like there was no, there was no, um, depth to you. Just what was on the surface. They tried to offer you a change, but they gave you a tower. 
this Hierophant, Taurus energy, Scorpio, Taurus energy, Leo energy. They offered you the stars and the moon and gave you a tower. Hi, Priestess. What is that all about? Can't make it up. So this is truly an earth angel. Uh, somebody who's transforming from death into life. The phoenix moment. And bringing some kind of new beginning in finances in themselves. Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Pisces energy here. So, transformation is going to happen whether any of these jokers like it or not. You, you're bringing balance to your talents. Bringing balance to your talents. That rhymes. By defending your work. What it is you're passionate about. And the star. And the queen of swords. You could become a famous painter. You could become a famous person. Through defending your work. Because I am seeing some kind of fame here. I don't know what that means. Maybe you're going to get famous for the right reasons. And whoever this matriarch in reverse, this queen of pentacles in reverse, is going to get famous for the wrong reasons. Knight of pentacles. Chef. Yeah. So, <laughs> power domination. You're going to have some kind of power in the future. Like I said, I'm feeling this is future energy. Aries energy. Somebody wanted to dominate you because they didn't want you to be seen. They wanted to hold this back as long as possible. What did it look? They had a lot to lose here. Their cruelty. What they did with their voodoo dolls. I tore the leg off your voodoo doll and I stirred my coffee with it. How do you like that? Whatever they did here, they're not sorry for doing it. For interfering with your magic, with, with what you had to manifest and bring into the world. Well, they're not sorry for it, but they failed. They failed at whatever they were trying to manifest for you. Now they're going to have to reap what they sow. Now they're going to have to get back whatever they sent out towards you. Because they, they abused their power. They abused their power. You loved yourself anyway. Stood in your integrity in that nine of wands. Well, now they want to call a truce and have some hot dogs and beer because they still want dominion over you. Don't eat or drink anything from this person because there's something hidden in it. All right. And with that death card and that ten of swords here, don't eat or drink anything from this person. There's something inside it. Stand in your integrity by all means. But make your own food and your own drink, Queen of Cups. I mean, if you're going to go to some kind of a, you know, soiree or whatever, you do you, boo. But my suggestion would be don't take anything from these people, especially anything that you would ingest, because they're abusive and power hungry. Their masks are falling off. Keyboard warrior. Trying to ruin your rep so they can take your accolades. Losing power. You tried to use it on stopping you. And now they didn't concentrate on their own life. So they're, they're screwed. Liberation. Freedom. They want to swap destiny. And being stopped. The queen or king doesn't beg. Or fight for any kind of position. 
But you can't afford to be innocent here. You really can't. Love, partnership, sweetheart. Losing influence trying to stop you. Okay, so this could be some kind of influencer or, or something of that nature. And you're the king or queen that doesn't beg or fight for, for what you want. You've earned your crown. So they can't take it from you. But like I said, I, this, I feel like this is future energy. So do not eat or drink anything this person offers you. There's something hidden in it. I don't know what that means, but... Yeah, we have caution. This person is a hater. That really doesn't hate anything about you. But you're protecting yourself sexually. Total drama, action. Investigating. Setting the record straight. And knowing the tea. No, this bugaboo knows the tea. <laughs> they in their feels because they know the tea and they got to set the record straight because they're being investigated. Oops. Hater, hater. Bacon hater. They, they really... They don't hate you. They... They hate that they can't be you. Okay. I think they secretly admire you. They don't really hate you. But to everyone else, they look like a hater because of the way they act. Got Father Time and Courage. Courage is a good one for this reading. But I'm going to read Father Time. here. There it is. So this dragon card says, bring the light a little closer, it says, let yourself sink a little deeper into the abyss of quiet stillness. Father Time is probably as old as the universe itself. This commanding wise old dragon will aid you to still the constant chatter of your mind to just be. His presence supports our grounding and brings focus to the moment. His aim is that we let go of linear time, for it is a man-made concept. His energy helps us to enter the void, which is particularly useful during meditation. His message today is, now, this moment in time, is a gift, which is why it's called the present. Allow all time to stop and break your habit of clock chasing because in reality there is only now let yourself sink a little deeper into the abyss of quiet and stillness and let go the man-made concept of linear time is illusory it only serves to fuel the doubts in your life I am here to guide you to a more tranquil way of being, to be fully present in the moment. He goes on to say, the stresses of your existence are often due to your preoccupation with time. Find your point of center, breathe and let go, whether these anxieties are from being a lack of time or by feeling of not being good enough. Nothing is gained by being fearful. Stop setting yourself on realistic time, time scales and such high expectations. 
you can achieve without making it as difficult this difficult for yourself. You are human doings. Dragons refer to us as human doings rather than beings. Fail to see that much of your stress is unconscious, as it is natural to you as breathing. Recognize this and release it. With the quietness of mind, Father Time aids you in finding clarity in all life situations and helps you see the bigger picture allowing you to reach a new level of understanding. So defend what you do, but the here and now is what matters. And do the right thing even when nobody's looking, because somebody here is abusing their power, trying to have dominion over your life for their gain. Have the courage to defend yourself. Have the courage to stand up for yourself. Then they have no power over you. Be like Gandalf. You have no power here. Okay? Well, those are your me messages, my baby dragons. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.